Across the country, hundreds of flights were canceled due to COVID staffing shortages over the holiday weekend. And now, weather delays are causing some people to be at the airport longer than they expected. Six on your side's Kristen Gallant was at McGee Tyson Airport earlier today, and she spoke to some people who are just glad to be back home now after the holidays. Rodney Sellers is from Murphy, North Carolina. Like normal wife, Patricia, she's went to Punta Gorda, well, Fort Myers. She flew into Punta Gorda, visit with her daughter and her grandson, and had a really good time. Now it's time to come home. His wife spent the holidays with her daughter since it's been four years since they've seen each other. She left about 10 days ago before airlines started to see a lot of cancellations or delays. But coming back home was a different story. Issues with the flight going there was perfect, nothing. Tonight it was an hour and a half delay. When it started out as a 20 minute delay and then it was a hour delay and then it's an hour and a half. Seller says his wife doesn't have a cell phone, but he's been tracking her flight on the app. It is what it is. I mean, there's, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. Matthew Wood was also trying to get back home to Tennessee after spending the holiday with his sister in Texas. But hours before his flight, he got a message from the airline. Flying from uh, Texas to here and they canceled. It took two hours to rebook the flight. Uh, it took an hour to sleep again. A spokesperson with McGee Tyson Airport says they had a minimal amount of cancellations or delays on Monday. Most of them had to do with weather. However, connecting flights at other airports may be affected. Matthew Wood is just glad to be back home and Rodney Sellers is happy to see his wife after the busy holiday. I miss her and the dogs miss her. In Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Kristen, thank you. And at last check, McGee Tyson had five total flight cancellations in the last 24 hours. That is according to flightaware.com.